All right, here we go. Question number four from our college algebra, homework number three in my lab math. They ask us to describe how the graph of the function, here we have g of x equals one half times the absolute value of x minus one can be obtained from the basic graph, that means from the parent function, and notice that down here they have given us the parent function, which is just a, a basic absolute value of x. And it says then graph the function. Okay, so start with this, the parent function, and you need to know that the coefficient of the function, here the one half is the coefficient of the absolute value, that's going to be a vertical stretch or compress. So here your options are stretch or shrink. So ju just so you know, the one half, if it's a fraction like a half or a third or a sixth, that's going to take your uh, V of your absolute value and that's going to widen it out. So vertically that's going to compress it, which we would call that a shrink, okay? It's going to vertically shrink it down by a factor of, and that's the coefficient, and it says finally it's going to shift it, and we have some choices. So you need to know the number after the function, here the number outside of the absolute value, that is your vertical shift, and negative 1, since that's a vertical shift, that's going to be down 1. Minus is down. And checking that, got it. Now, we're going to have to come up with the graph. So up here in the right-hand corner, I've got the function written down. We're going to go through and show how to graph that by hand. So we're going to start with the table of values. Uh, in this case, I'm going to start with zero. You can pick anything you want, really, but zero is pretty easy to work with here. And we're going to plug that in. So we're going to have one half times the absolute value of zero minus one. Uh, the absolute value of zero is zero. One half times zero is zero, and zero minus one is negative one. And so that's going to give us an ordered pair of zero, negative one. And now we need to pick maybe a couple more X's. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, I'm going to be selective here because I want to get nice numbers for Y. Since I'm having to multiply by a fraction, I would like to have numbers that come out even because it's easy to take half of an even number. So I'm going to pick negative 2 and 2. Just a couple more numbers, and notice that that gives us a range of values. We get a negative, we get a positive, we get a neutral, which was 0. Give us a good range here. So next we're going to do 1 half times the absolute value of negative 2 minus 1. So the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. A half times 2 is 1. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So that gives us a 0. And then I want you to notice if I take and erase this negative, so that we do the other one here, the absolute value of 2 is also 2. And so I'm going to end up with the same y value. All right, so let's plot those points and play connect the dots. So 0 is negative 1, right there. Negative 2 and 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, are both at 0. And can you see that that did take uh, the V, which is normally at a right angle, would have been like that, and it compressed it. it. It's like somebody stepped on it and squashed it out wider. So that's how we got the shrink there. It, sh it shrunk it down vertically. Now, let's check that with Desmos down here just to make sure. And the function was G of X equals 1 half. Now, to do an absolute value, we're going to need to bring up the keyboard and select right here, absolute value of x minus 1. And can you see that the graph here? 
also does verify the ordered pairs that I got up here. The 0, negative 1, negative 2, 0, and 2, 0. So this looks exactly like the graph that I got, which looks exactly like answer choice C. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.